Hello students. In this uh, video, we will discuss about the R programs for random variable and distributions. This chapter is number three in probability and statistics for advanced diploma. Okay, so first we will, I will tell you what we are going to discuss here. So the, the thing that we are going to discuss here first is the uh, random variable we are going to discuss and then we are going to discuss probability distribution. If you remember, there are three probability distribution. One is the binomial distribution, second is the Poisson distribution, third is the normal distribution. So these three distributions we will discuss in this video. So first we talk about the random variable. As we know, there are two type of random variables. One is the discrete random variable, second is the continuous random variable. So here we are going to discuss about the discrete random variable only. Continuous random variable problems we will not discuss in the R program. Okay. <clears throat> so what are the things that we are going to discuss uh, here in this video? Particularly how to calculate uh, mean of a probability distribution, variance, standard deviation, the probability histogram, how to find the cumulative frequencies and how to find the crop means draw the cumulative probability distribution graph that we are going to discuss in this uh, chapter here. Okay, so what we will be given, given will be the values of the random variable x will be given and probability will be given. So what is the first thing that we need to check? We need to check whether all probabilities are positive. Yes, these are the positive probabilities. Means all probabilities are either zero or greater than zero. This is the first condition. What is the second condition? That sum of all the probabilities should be equal to one. This is the second condition. Clear? If these two conditions fulfill, then we call it probability distribution. Okay. Then uh, we will uh, calculate uh, what is, uh, we will calculate multiply x into px. Why we are calculating multiply x into px? Because if you remember the canon for sum is sigma x px, multiplication of the random variable value and its probabilities values. And this sigma represents the sum. Okay, so this we will calculate. Okay, after calculating it, how to calculate the variance? Variance, we calculate the sum of uh, x square px because it is uh, how we calculate the variance. It is the expectation of x square minus mean square. This is the canon. So calculate the expectation of x square and minus the mean square. This will give you variance. And if you will use the command sqrt, it will give you variance. Okay. So what we are going to discuss, this is already printed in the course material. We will experiment here in the R program. Okay. So first we will open the R program and what question we will take? We will take this question. Okay. So if you look here in the question, what is given here? The variable, random variable X values are given 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values are given. These are discrete, discrete variables. Okay. Values. Okay, and the corresponding uh, probabilities are given. So you can see these are the probabilities given corresponding to 1 to 8, 1 to 6, sorry. And then we are calculating uh, whether it is a probability distribution or not. So how to do it? Okay, so first let us calculate the value. So how to calculate the value? The val value we will calculate by uh, like say these are the values of x. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we will calculate the, print the probability. These are the probabilities. Okay. Now, what is the question number one? I told you, we will check whether the total probability is one or not. So, sum. Sum is the command that will, that will add uh, all these values clear. And sum p, if you will add, yes. So, the total probability is coming one. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to calculate mean, M-E-A-N, mean, mean, how to calculate mean? Mean is the multiplication of X and P, clear? So this we will, we will do here. Now this is P, I capital printed, small P. So X star P 
and the what is what will be this this is sum sum of this so mean is equal to sum total of x star p and if you will enter and if you will print it so mean will come what is the mean 3.28 okay after calculating mean how to calculate the variance v a r i a n c e variance variance is equal to how much variance is expectation of x square so sum how much x tarbia x power 2 clear multiply p bracket close minus mean we have already calculated so mean tarbia mean power 2 clear so this is how we will calculate now if we'll print variance so oh variance object not found oh i type the small v so we need to cap oh this is ha huh. so this is variance 2.8216 okay so this is the variance now we need to calculate standard deviation so standard deviation is standard deviation is equal to sqrt and uh, inside v a r i a n c variance capital v okay class now sd this is the variance so we have finished uh, the mean we have finished the variance and standard deviation now we need to draw the uh, what is the question number 4 question number 4 is draw the probability histogram probability histogram is the bar diagram basically b a r p l o t bar plot for what for probability bar plot for probability so this is the bar plot for probability you can see the bar plot is coming here and now you can see uh, many many things you can put here bar plot p comma you can type the uh, names names dot a r g names dot a r g is equal to what x we need to put so uh, the variable name will come downside and uh, graph name you can put main is equal to what is this is a P R O B A B I L I T Y probability H I S T O G R A M probability histogram you can put uh, you can give color is equal to color is equal to there are seven so you can put one two seven here and one more enter now if you will enter and see the things there so you will see the graph now this zero you can see zero one two three four five six seven six are coming this is coming through names dot argument here probability histogram name is coming and different colors are coming this we are getting with the with all these things clear so this is how we draw the bar plot now what is the next question next question is printed data frame with x px and cumulative frequencies sorry probabilities it is not frequency here probability okay so what we will do let us do a equal so choose uh, it as data frame as a d a t a data dot f r a m e data frame what we need here we need x we need p and we need cumulative probability one column we need cumulative probability and what is the command to calculate the cumulative probability c u m s u m come sum for what probability and this bracket close so if you will d c then you will get it so you can see x values are coming here probabilities are coming here and cp total probable cumulative probability is coming here clear so this is how we can create the data frame x x values will come p probability will come and cumulative probabilities that is that we are calculating with the help of come sum we will get it okay so what is the last question now cumulative probability distribution graph so the cumulative probability distribution graph so that we will get okay so what how we'll do it just i will change only one thing what i will change the here only a dollar a dollar cp because we need to choose this column cp because we are drawing graph for cumulative frequency so cp a dollar cp a is the data frame name and dollar cp is the column rest things we will keep the same and let us see now the now you will see the uh, 
cumulative frequency graph it is in increasing order or oh, probability histogram in place uh, we can change in probability histogram cumulative you can change it c u m u oh sorry you can change here cumulative probability graph c u m u l a t i v cumulative p r o b a b i l i t y probability graph g r a p h enter so you will see here it will come cumulative probability graph okay so this is how we can we can uh, get uh, the uh, things in this uh, uh, r programming and uh, this this question is finished so these are the six things that we finished here okay now if we see uh, like say uh, if we move to the another type of question so what i need to tell you here is like say uh, I, I will tell you only one important thing here. We have three distributions. One distribution is binomial distribution. Clear. Another distribution is poison distribution. And the third distribution here, we have the normal distribution. So what you need to remember? You need to remember the code. Binomial distribution code is binom. Binom. The first uh, for, for alphabets. Here the distribution code is POIS and here the distribution code is NORM, NOR. Clear? So B, I, N, O, M like this, P, O, I, S like this and N, O, R, M. Very simple. Clear? Now you need to put one alphabet here. What alphabet? If you are calculating exact probabilities, I will tell you, exact probabilities, then you need to put D here. If you are calculating exact, exact probabilities, okay, find the probability of getting exact 5 heads, exact 7 heads, exact 9 heads, exact no means 5 tails. So if you are calculating exact, you need to put D here. If you are calculating at least, at most, less than, more than, all these things you are calculating then we need to put the alphabet p here clear so it will be p poise p binom p norm like this okay so these things you need to remember okay based on based on these means questions we need to calculate the total probabilities whatever is asking in the question but the Exact thing that you need to remember in binomial distribution, you need to remember binom. In Poisson distribution, you need to remember poise. In normal distribution, you need to remember norm. Exact probability, you need to remember D. And the rest probability, we will use the concept with P, P poise. Okay. So this is the thing. And the last thing that you need to remember here will come X. X means whatever is the question. Okay, here how many times the experiment repeated n and what is the probability of success p. This is in binomial distribution. In Poisson distribution, x will come, means whatever is the question based on the question x and here it will come mean. And what is the mean? Mean is n into p. Okay, here three things will come, x will come, clear. Another thing uh, will come here, uh, the uh, mean and the last thing will come here, the standard deviation. Okay. Based on these facts, you need to solve the question. Uh, rest things like say, if the number of times experiment repeated is less and the probability is not very small, we will use binomial distribution. Otherwise, we will use Poisson distribution and for continuous, we will use normal distribution. Now look at the question here. What is the question? 20% of the students in a college are advanced diploma students. 20%. So probability that the student is advanced diploma student is 20%. 20% means 20 upon 100. That means 0.2. So probability is 0.2. This we will do it. P is equal to 0 0.2. This is the probability. Okay. How many times experiment repeated? A sample of 20 students is selected. How many times? Sample. N is equal to 
20. 20 times experiment is repeated. Okay. So, this is the thing. Now, what is the question? What is the probability? Now, fill in the blanks. You will have like this. These questions. Okay. What is the probability that exactly 7 students of them will be higher diploma student? Exactly 7 students. So, what is the question number 1? Question number 1 is hash exactly 7 S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S students are higher diploma student. So, when we are using exactly, so exactly is evaluated with the help of D. B-I-N-O-M, D by no. What is the value of X? 7. How many students we need? 7. What is the total times experiment repeated? 20. N. And what is the probability of success? 0 0.2. Clear? Please enter. This is the probability that out of 20, exactly 7 students will be higher diploma students. Okay. Now, question number 2 is none of these students, none of these students, none means 0. Okay. So, none of the S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S students. So, none of the students is also exact probability. So, what we will do? We will do only one change. None means shiver, 0. So, what is the probability that none of these students are higher diploma student? This is 0. Okay. Now, what is the next question? Next question is, at most 6 students, at most 6 S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S students, at most 6 students. So, at most we will use P. B-I-N-O-M, P by no. And what is the command? What is the X comma? This is. So, what is the command here? 6 comma. Total 20, a probability is 0 0.2 and class. So, this is the probability that most 6 students will be higher diploma student from 20 students. Okay, at most. So, at most we are using this concept. Now, the next question is, next question coming here is what? At most. Now, less than 5 student or at most 4 student. I want to tell you. What we are writing here? We are writing here less than 5 students. Less than 5 students means what? Less than 5 students means either 0 student, 1 student, 2 student, 3 student or 4 student. 5 is not included because it is less than. Clear? So, you need to understand the code. What code we will do? So, 0 to 4. 5 mafi because less than. Okay. So, this is same same is at most 4. This is same same. At most 4. So, less than 5 and at most 4 is the same same thing. So, when we will calculate uh, less than 5, it means what we will calculate? We will calculate at most 4. So, 4, 20, 0 0.2. So, this is the probability that less than 5 or you can call less than 5, you can call it. It is at most 4. So, you need to understand what is the question. According to this, you need to put the value. Okay. Now, the next question comes more than x, more than 10. Hash. More than 10. More than 10. Now, more than 10 is opposite to the at most concept. So, what we will do? More than means we will use 1 minus. Clear. So, remember, exactly we are using D. Okay. At most, we are using P. But when we are talking about more than, so it will be 1 minus P, B, I, N, O, M, by norm. And the same, same. 10, comma. What will be? 10, comma, 20, comma, 0 0.2 is the probability. Class. This is the answer. More than 10. Okay. So, more than 10 means 1 minus P by norm you need to use. So, more than concept is always 1 minus P. Okay. And the last question is at least 4 students. So, when we are talking at least 4 students, hash at least 4. So, at least 4, at least 4 students means what? At least 4 means it is more than concept and at least concept are also same same. More than 10 and means at least 4 or more than 4. What is the difference? Difference is 1 again. 
So what we will do? We will use the same same concept here in place of like say, uh, what should we come? At least four. So four will not come. It will come four minus one. Why? Because more than and at least one is the difference. So at more than we are using one minus p by now. Same same value. So when we will use at least we will use same but nakas one. So if you will do it, uh, oh sorry, class. Sabar sabar. That is uh, we will use here how much four minus one. So if you will do this is the probability. Okay. So so what we are doing? We are doing very simple thing. We are using the concept d binom we are using the concept p binom and here x n and p we are talking now we will talk about the poison distribution what is in the poison distribution if we look at the question for poison distribution here is the question for poison distribution a manager of a power generating company believes that 5% of the generator fail why generator 5% fail. So probability how much? 5%. 5% if you will change into decimal, it will come 0 0.05. Okay. So this is probability. Okay. 100 fails occurring in the year. N is equal to 100. Clear. So you can see here probability is small and N is big. If a probability is small, N is big, what distribution we will use? We will use Poisson distribution. Okay, so what we need to do? First, we will put probability is equal to 0 0.05 and is equal to 100. And we will calculate mean first. What is mean? N verb P. N multiply P. So what is the mean? Mean is 5 in this question. This is the first thing. Now, based on this concept, we will calculate the probabilities. Probability same same, exact probabilities at most less than all the same same type of things that we calculate in the previous one. So first comes the exact 10. E X A C T exact exact 10 failures. Exact 10 failures. So what will be D? Exact means D. Okay. What is this distribution? Poison. P O I S. D poison. How many failures? 10. And what will come second term? Mean. Enter class. This is the probability that exactly 10 failures will be there. Okay. What is the next question? No failure. No. F-A-I-L-U-R-E-S. No failures. Okay. No failures means what? No failures means same, same. Only what will happen here? We will put 0. Class. This is the probability that there will be no failure. No means zero. Okay. No failures. At most six failures. At most six failures. At most six failures. At most. At most means what concept we will use? P. P O I S poison. X is six, comma. What is this? Mean. And enter. This is the probability of at most 6 failures. The next one is less than 10 failures. Less than 10 failures means what? Less than 10 failures means it will be 0, 1, 2 and 9. 10, 10 will not include because this is less than. So it is indirectly it is what? Almost 9 failures. So you call it less than 10 failure or less than 10 failures, less than 10 failures. So, what will be? P, P, less than 10 failure. P, P, O, I, S, poise. And less than 10 means you can call it 10 nakas 1. So, it will become at most. And then M, E, A, N. This is, this is the answer. So, this is at most 10 failures. Okay. What is the next one? Next one is more than 8 failures. More than 8 failures. More than 8. Mm, hash. More than 8. More than 8. More than means what? More than means we will use 1 minus concept. 1 minus P. P O I S. 1 minus P poise. More than 8. Comma. M E A N mean. Bracket closed. 
flaws. This is the probability that out of 20, more than 8 failures were there. Okay. And what is the last question? Last question is at least 3 failures. At least 3. So, hash at least 3 failures. So, at least 3. Again, it will come minus 1. Minus 1, we will get it. So, 1 minus P, P O I S, poise, minus P poise, at least 3. At least means 1, Nakas 1 will be there and M E A N. This is class. This is the probability that at least 3 failures were there. Okay. So, the thing is very, very easy. It is not difficult to remember. Exact means we will use D poise. Clear. At most means we will use P poise. Okay. More than means we will use 1 minus P poise. And at least concept 1 minus P poise, Nakas 1. And similarly, less than 10 filio, less than concept P poise, 10 minus 1. So, these small, small things you need to remember. Rest is very, very easy. You can calculate any type of probability, whatever you want. Okay. Now, coming to the last uh, type of thing, uh, that is the normal distribution. Okay. The normal distribution based on the graph, uh, the symmetric graph, the normal graph. Okay. Here, while using our programming, we need to remember the code only. No need to remember the graph. Okay, but here, like say less than 4, if we are talking, so less than 4 and at most 4, it is same, same here. There is no, not much difference. Clear, because it is a continuous variable. We are talking here continuous variable. Okay, so it is not like that less than 4 means it is not 0, 1, 2, 3. Clear, it is 3.9999 is also less than 4 in the continuous variable. Okay, so there will be no minus 1 in terms of less than and in terms of at least. The canon will be whatever is the canon for more than, same, same for at least. What is the canon for at most? Same, same is for less than. So there will be no NACAS 1 in case of uh, normal distribution that you need to remember. Okay, so what we are doing here? Here the mean number of hours, mean, mean means mu. Uh, mean is 3.1 hours. So, let us start here. What is this? Mean is equal to 3.1 hours. Okay. What is the standard deviation? Standard deviation is 0 0.5 hours. So, SD is equal to 0 0.5 hours. Okay. Now, what we need to calculate? Find the percentage of workers. So, percentage means in the end you need to multiply by 100. That is the end thing. Okay. First, we need to calculate the exact probabilities. So, how to exact 2.5 hours? So, um, exact 2.5 hours. Clear. So, exact probabilities, how we will calculate? D and ORM, D naught. And what will be the value that we want? Question 2.5, comma. M E N comma S D bracket close. Okay. This is the probability that exact 2.5 hours people are working. So the probability of the exact. Okay. What is the question? At most 2.8 hours. To most concept. At most. At most 2.8 hours. At most 2.8 hours. At most means what? P. And ORM P norm bracket close. What will be the value of X? 2.8, comma, mean, comma, SD bracket close, enter. This is the probability that at most 2.8 hours people working. Okay. Now less than 4 hours. Less than 4 hours uh, people are working. So hash less than 4 hours. So, if you remember, we were doing their P, N, O, R, M, P naught, and we were doing their 4 minus 1 in binomial distribution and in Poisson distribution, minus 1 in case of less than, okay. So, um, then mean, 
and then st clear but please remember in case of normal distribution less than 4 at most 4 the difference is very very small so we will not consider them minus 1 if we will take minus 1 it will be a big difference in the answer so the answer here is 0 0.9640697 okay because less than 4 means if you will take here in place of 4 if you will take 3.99999 if you will take the answer will not much different clear uh, you can see answer is same same even we are taking 4 and we are taking less than 4 okay less than 4 is 3.99999 okay so this is the difference between the continuous and uh, the discrete distributions okay so this is less than okay now last is more than 1.5 hours more than hash more than more than 1.5 hours 1.5 hours more than 1.5 more than means 1 minus p n o r m norm and uh, more than 1.5 means 1.5 comma mean comma sd bracket close and this is the probability that more than 1.5 hours people are working okay uh, this is more than and uh, uh, there is one more question at least 12 hours at least 12 hours hash at least 12 hours how much sorry at least 2 hours not 12 2 H O U R S 2 hours. This is at least 2 hours. At least 2 hours, what we were doing there? 1 minus P N O R M norm. And we were doing it is 2 Nocus 1 mean comma standard deviation. But remember, we are doing normal distribution. And in normal distribution, I told you there is no need minus 1. Okay. So whether it is at least or more than the concept is same same so the answer is 9860966 this is the probability okay now one more question uh, i want to solve here like say uh, these are the five questions like if people are working uh, between between 1.5 hours to 3 hours please find the probability if people are working those who are working between 1.5 hours and 3 hours so it is it it, it is also a one of the question uh, like say find the probability if people are working uh, uh, working uh, between uh, uh, take any value 1.5 hours to 3.5 uh, uh, hours okay what is the probability if people are working between this and this so i want to tell you my friend here how we are calculating we calculate value of z here we calculate the value of z here then we draw the graph how we draw the graph we draw the graph like this one this is so if one value is coming here one value is coming here so corresponding to the normal distribution here we need to calculate the area from here to here this area we need to calculate if we are calculating between two values this is the starting point this is the end point okay so while we are doing it here in this so what we'll do in the r program first we'll calculate the big value then we will calculate the small value and subtract it to get this answer okay so how to do it uh, it is p n o r m p norm the big value what is the big value 3.5 comma mean mean comma standard deviation this is the big value minus p n o r m norm calculate the calculate the small value what is the small value 1.5 comma mean comma standard deviation clear so this is this is the area of the between uh, concept between we calculate here so this 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 total area this total area is 0 0.78 0 0.78 that we have just evaluated in the r program okay 
so this is my dear friends we can calculate uh, with the help of uh, uh, this r program now one more thing i want to calculate like say there is a various type of data sets i explained you we can calculate random numbers also so how to how to generate the random numbers random numbers are generated with the code r r b i n o n r by no how many numbers you need to create like say you need to create 20 numbers okay 20 uh, binomial numbers you need to create how many times experiment you created uh, repeated like say 20 times you uh, repeated or 25 times you repeated what is the probability of success 0. Point, uh, like say 0. 0.15 okay so if you will do it you will get the 20 random numbers these are the 20 random numbers that represents the binomial distribution okay this data set also you can use to calculate various things okay similarly if you want to calculate in poison so r will start p o i s poise and how many values means what values you need you need values like say 20 values you need and what is the mean mean is equal to like say 2 mean is 2 okay so if you will do oh i calculate mean i need not to type here so if you will cal calculate so these are the random numbers okay and if i will uh, type the mean one here so the values will change immediately if i type the mean 10 then values will change immediately this you can see big big numbers are coming because mean is 10 here mean is mean is one only so small numbers are coming mean is two only little more uh, big numbers are coming but these are the 20 values if you want to create even 200 values so it will give you 200 values okay so these are the various type of data set these are called random numbers and these random numbers follow the poison distribution based on this mean mean is 10 clear so mean these numbers are corresponding to mean 10 mean 10 and you can see in binomial distribution or in poison distribution all numbers are coming the discrete numbers now i will create for normal distribution r random numbers and o r m norm and if you will put here what how many numbers we need like say 20 numbers we need comma what is the mean? Mean, let's say, uh, take mean is uh, 10. Standard deviation is 1.52. Okay, do anything. If you will see, so it will give you 20 numbers here. And see, all numbers are with point, decimal. Clear why? Because this is a continuous distribution. And if you need more 200 numbers, say, so you type 200. It will give you 200 random numbers. Based on that will follow the normal distribution okay so uh, my dear friends we have discussed only three type of things here what three type of things uh, we discussed first we discussed with a uh, with uh, d probability with d that is eject probabilities then we calculate the probability with b this is at most the most concept we are using and when you are using 1 minus p, this gives you at least concept. And the last one that we use with the R, random numbers. Rest is binomial distribution is binom, poison distribution is poise, normal distribution is norm. Okay, thank you very much.